the kids from Computer Clubhouse or Tata. From 2011, Ultra Fast Broadband Over Fibre is being rolled out across New Zealand. It's a massive investment in our future. So we think that everybody should make the most of it. Of course, to do that, we need to know what having fibre to your door could do for you and you. So here's just one example of what's possible. We are Appleby School, a rural school just out of Nelson. We have a role of 130 pupils and we were one of the first schools in New Zealand to take part in the trial uh, National Education Network. Prior to the trial, we had a wireless set up here at school which was only delivering internet at about dial-up speed because we were unable to get broadband because of our rural location. Being on dial-up was, was, was rather frustrating because incredibly difficult communication issues. We are dealing with parents. Also, our records were all held in a uh, traditional filing system. We thought that this was a great opportunity to uh, do the 20 or so metres of wiring that was required to get ourselves onto the loop. There's a perception that you're slightly out of the loop in a rural setting and you may miss out on certain things. And this opened up the, the world, really, nationally and um, globally. So what fibre has meant for Appleby School is that our administration systems are much faster and more efficient. Children and parents have a much closer relationship in the learning process. Our staff are highly motivated about learning new skills and it has developed a significant collaborative culture amongst the schools within our area. It's very much an information now environment where teachers and students want everything at their fingertips and with the fibre we're actually able to give them that. Experiments last week and you guys had all sorts of theories about the chemical reaction that was causing the Mentos to erupt out of the bottle like that. You can actually see and each little pit, each little corner provides what's called a nucleation site. It's totally changed the way that we teach. We're able to assess each individual child and target their needs specifically. One of the advantages of the high-speed fibre is that we're able to run EASTL simultaneously and that of course means that you're running you know, 25 to 30 individual programs within your classroom and you're getting better results for the individual as a result of it. A lot of schools are running EASTL but over a lower speed connection. The issues with that mean that the system crashes and um, we haven't had those issues at all. So by having the digital uh, portfolios, it enables Grace to share with me more about what's going on in the actual classroom. You feel more informed and we have been able to do things like share videos and do more podcasting and that's just from an external perspective. That's cool. That's a good goal to work on. It's an amazing uh, exposure to material, rich material, that they've not had before and that's really cool. Other applications that we've used are DLOs, digital learning objects, through the Ministry websites. They require quite a bit of bandwidth and again we're able to get multiple children accessing those at the same time. For a couple of years now we've been running the Lexia program for children having difficulty with their reading. We've noticed uh, you know, really accelerated progress uh, with those children. But it has also meant that we can broaden it out because we're moving kids more quickly. Where it used to be five or six children who had that opportunity, it's now more like 15 throughout the year. So my advice for any schools who are just starting out on um, fibre is do it, take your time and perhaps address the most prominent needs for your school at that time. It's just brilliant that now all schools are going to be on ultra-fast broadband and they can enjoy the, the wonderful um, exp learning experiences that we have.